Heroes and heroines of all ages. When the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the 1UP Block. My name is Dan the Man, your host, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 1. When we last left off, I gave you a pretty in-depth guide on how to fuse personas, and now we're finally entering our first quote-unquote dungeon, the Sebek Building. Uh, and without further ado, I'm gonna hop on in because we need to quickly get into this because I've recorded this at least three times and every time I've tried to do it, it's messed up. So I'm ready. Uh, starting off, uh, there will be a save right to the left. You can make use of it if you'd like. I myself am going to not do that <laughs> because I don't, I don't really need to save yet. Okay, why? Why are you guys guarding? I don't know why that happens sometimes. Sometimes when you use auto replay, your characters will have not attacked. I guess. I don't get it. I really don't. I used an attack just before I started because I was testing some stuff out. So I should have been able to do attacks regardless. But hey, I guess the game just wants to play its own way. But those were some new enemies. Um, uh, Ketchy, I think. Ketchy and... Yeah, yeah, hold on, I got the names of them right here. <laughs> sorry, 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 this is behind the scenes stuff. Uh, Fuji Musume is what her name is. Um, they're not too impressive. That's a save right there, but I'm going to ignore it. Uh, right now, you're looking for two switches to unlock a door in the back of this room. Uh, as you can see, we were just at one of them. I'm just going to auto attack with weapons because these guys are nightmares and they are... They absorb most elements, uh, and physical is clearly their weakness, so make sure you make use of that. <laughs> Okie doke, pull the lever. Wrong lever! And just follow this left side, and you'll find the other level. Lever. And also, you'll be able to make it out pretty quickly. I'm gonna make sure old boy uses Megido, because he was stunned last time I was picking attacks. Uh, Megido... And Crimson Subulation. <laughs> Crimson Subulation. Sounds like a sounds like one hell of an anime attack, doesn't it? I'm gonna keep going over here. You'll find the next switch. Bada boom, bada bing. Hello. These guys are catchies. Uh, well, actually, we could just analyze them, can't we? Uh, yeah, catchy. Uh, null tech rush, weak to whip and guns, yada yada yada. I'm, I'm terrible at the, doing RPGs as Let's Plays, let me just tell you right now. Hopefully you guys come to be entertained by me and to see the story. Because otherwise, I'm terrible at being pretty on point with this. But, follow this little area over here and you'll make it to the stairway. And we can finally progress. Isn't that a novel concept? I'm so ready to progress in this game and get this LP underway. We haven't even started the game yet. It's hard, it's hard to think about, but we haven't even started the game proper, if you can believe it. Welcome to RPGs, am I right? Am I right, fellas? Can I get an amen? <laughs> but here we go. We are now entering the Sebek building. Get yourself some items and take off. I'm going to try avoid talking to them in buildings because they basically just say the same stuff. Or it's not really completely relevant to what you're doing. I mean, they, they mention stuff about what you're doing, but it's not super important most of the time. Uh, again, if you're using a similar setup to me, uh, just, you want to have as many all skills as possible, like spells that hit all enemies. Here's a save, a save tree, by the way. Oh, save tree, you have saved me. Um, have as many spells that hit every enemy on the field as possible, uh, because if an all spell doesn't kill the enemy, they're probably weak to either guns or your fists, or weapons, rather. So, uh, here is Trish. Hi, I'm Trish, and this is my fountain of healing. This world runs on give and take. Give me money, and I'll take your pain. What do you say? Just dropping by. You called me out for no reason. Boo to that. Get out of here. Uh, Trish is a healing area. You have to pay her. 
Uh, she costs more than going to the doctors in the overworld, but that's because you're paying for convenience, essentially. Uh, she's a healing station inside of dungeons, so obviously you're gonna have to pay some money, some extra money to get heals. Because she's racking up that price, because what are you gonna do about it, right? You're in the middle of a dungeon, you're low on health, but you have plenty of money. Of course you're gonna pay her to heal you. But Trish is a bitch. She's a, she's, she's one of my favorite bitches, but she is a bitch nonetheless. Here's a store, you can buy some stuff here, nothing, nothing that you haven't seen before. Uh, I'd recommend grabbing some clean salts and an emergency exit if you don't already have Treesto like I do. Uh, clean salts will ward off weak foes, so if you're sick and tired of those random encounters, well, there you go. <laughs> you can do away with them. Uh, for this dungeon, there's nothing you're doing. Ooh, these guys are special. Before we, before we talk about that. These are the men in black. They give you the most amount of experience from this area, so make sure if you run into them, you kill them. Even if you're running away or avoiding other fights, make sure you take these guys down in particular because they do give a decent amount of experience, which means you can level up. <laughs> Obviously, because this is an RPG and you want to do that. But clearly you did not need me to tell you that. For the most part, we're just going to be going up different stairs looking for uh, rooms to enter through like this. Uh, and that's basically it. We're gonna be looking for items and then going to the final boss. Eh? You came through the basement? I've heard rumors of a division down there that's a secret even to employees. But you say you went through it? Hmm? The general manager's room? All the way up. Is he expecting you? Nope, but he should be expecting my foot up his ass. So that's all to do down here. So now we're just gonna go floor by floor. Essentially, we're looking for items in... You'll, you'll see it. We'll, we'll come across one in a second. After we deal with these men in black, shouldn't you guys be dealing with aliens or something? Where's Will Smith? He'll vouch for me. I'm good. I'm cool. Nani. <laughs> the voice clips of the enemies are in Japanese because uh, they didn't dub those. Here's our first room. This will show you what it looks like. Uh, there's going to be a lot of rooms like this with cabinets in the back. We're just basically opening them. Shot shells, AK-47, Glock 26, and Spectre Vests. So we're just going to be collecting as many of these items as possible. I don't think they're entirely necessary, but hey, why not? Free shit, right? I saw the ghost of a girl in black at the office once. It must be the curse of the haunted mansion. Of course. I knew there was something funny about this company, but I didn't think they'd resort to biological warfare. Biological warfare. Scorpion whip, rattle drink, flame shawl, and rattle drink. So that whip is not gonna be used by us. The whip is actually the weapon of Ayase, who was the blonde girl that we turned down back before we entered the building. So, you're not even going to be able to use that whip, honestly. It's... I don't know why they give it to you. Ooh, everybody, she has learned Mabafula. The stronger all ice spell, which is good. You're, I do want that for the boss fight coming up. So, if I haven't mentioned it before, you're going to want something with ice or something with earth for the boss fight. So, if you're going to use any personas, make sure you use something of that accord. But I trust you guys. I trust you guys to know what you're doing. And if you don't, I'm here to give you a little bit of extra tips and tricks. Because hey, that's what a Let's Play is for, am I right? I think this one's just a big winding tunnel that leads to two doors. But there's a lot of enemy encounters here. Uh, there's Pyrojack, or Jack O'Lantern. If you're a Japanese. Honestly, Jack-O-Lantern makes more sense, because Pyrojack is not a thing. <laughs> this isn't the basement? Why is this room above ground? I can't believe this! We couldn't have calculated it would even change this building's structure. Boop. Spectre Vest. Excuse me, did you see a woman on your way here? She had short hair and glasses. Oh, Sonamora, please be safe. Hmm, that must be the woman that we met that we took to the school. 
The treasure box sprung a trap. Dan took damage, but I also got titanium gloves. Kandori must have used that machine. Good. Thanks for the information, NPC. You're so helpful. But we're good. We just need to move on. All we're doing is looking for these. Dude, I'm getting really lucky with these men in black fights, dude. Holy shit. Ow. Ow. Men in black, senpai. Don't punch shoot me. <laughs> One of those two. <laughs> Nani? Nani could have. We're good. We're good. Everybody's good. Except for Mark. He's not good, but he's just. He's a sourpuss. Dang it! Come on, man. I'm trying to. Ooh, new guys. What are you guys called? Oh, uh, cockatrices. I don't remember what they're weak to, but we're about to find out. Assuming because. Nope. I was about to say because they have wings, maybe they're weak to bows, but that's not the case at all. They're probably weak to some element. If we run into them again, we'll be able to tell. Boop, boop. Four. This will be the last sidestep we make in this journey. Because the fifth floor is the last floor on the way to the boss. This one is poisoned, I think. The treasure is trapped. Dan is poisoned. Shot shells. Delta Storm. And an Ingram. So, I'm poisoned, but because she has Possumundi, I'm fine. Assholes. Uh, let's see. Optimize. 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 You don't have anything, Mark, because you suck. You suck a da dick. You suck a duck and a banana, cause that's all you are. And I'm not sure if there's more stuff here, but we're certainly gonna find out. One way or another, I'm gonna find you. I'm going to get you, get you, get you. From that kid or his brother. Sorry, I always remember the Angelica version. Who the hell changed everything around? Why is there a storage room here? And what's with the weird toys? If I ever get my hands on this clown. Jeez, calm down, dude. A kid in a uniform like yours passed by earlier. I can't believe something like this happened on the day of your field trip. Must be tough for you kids. Wait a minute, another kid with a uniform like mine? Who the hell else could be in this building? Raven feather, black shoes, rattle drink. Um... Are we good? You know what I haven't run into yet? I haven't run into the one enemy in this area that sucks butt. It's something called Moshevu. What she does, if I don't encounter her to show her off for you guys, uh, she explodes, she self-destructs, and it does a lot of damage to your teammates. Oh, there she is right there. Moshevu. So what you're gonna wanna do is pick either Nanjo or Mark. Uh, Nanjo is sarcasm. Uh, if you keep using it and make her eager, you can did her spell card. And every time she shows up after this, you can just tell her to fuck right off. Because you don't want to deal with her. Let me just tell you that right now. That self-destruct will be a game ender. And it's unpleasant every time it happens. But with that, we're finally on our way to the end of this dungeon. Can you feel the love tonight? These guys are new. What are your names? Uh, Hanya, I think. Yeah, Hanya. Well, Hanya, it's been nice knowing you, but I'm gonna murder you for experience. Sorry, it's nothing against you, it's just this is an RPG. The Gurren no Muchi. I don't know what that is. But, oh good, it's a dead end. My favorite. Men in Black, my other favorite. Destroy them. Eradicate them from this earth. Bye-bye, <laughs> Jojo. Everybody's leveling up and shit. Alright, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to use a... Clean Salt, because we've seen mostly all the enemies we can here uh, that you need to see. Not that you need to see them in the first place. The only real enemy that I wanted to make sure you saw was Mo Shavu, because she's kind of a bitch, and if you don't deal with her properly, you could be dead. Titanium gloves, shot shells, Spectra vest, Mostaberg something. 5,000? You know, in the last recording, I didn't fully read that one either. 
Uh, and also, I, like, I, I want to apologize if you wanted to see the random encounters or whatever, but they just happen so often that it just, I, I would be stuck here for a while. <laughs> Depending on how big the dungeon is and how fed up I am with recording it, <laughs> we'll determine, because I do want to make sure you see the enemies, but at the same time I'm like, well... Here's the Velvet Room. If you need to fuse personas, this is the place to go. This is a save room, which I think I might actually make use of. I'm gonna save it over this second slot, because that'll be my saving during a recording slot, and then if it fucks up, I can go back to the previous save, which I've had to do at least three times by now. Not happy about it, really. Also, I also want to apologize if you don't like watching me, like, walk against walls like the way I do, because I move sideways when I play this game, because I use L and R to move. I don't know why I do it, it's just the most comfortable way for me. So now that there's no enemy encounters, what is there left to look at? Not much, really. <laughs> I guess keeping the random encounters may be the more interesting way to go about this, but I mean... Dan's gonna kill himself with ice. It's okay though, let's be real here. We've all been down that road where we've used an ice spell on a demon, and killed ourselves, right? Like, I've been there like five times. No joke. <laughs> so, I guess I'm just gonna leave the random encounters on now, just so something interesting happens in between me walking everywhere. Uh, I think we're at another room where we can save and buy stuff. Not 100% on that, but we'll find out momentarily. Thankfully, these battles go by relatively quickly. Yeah, so this is... A save area. I didn't really want to save, but I guess I'll do it anyway. Thanks, game. You always looking out for me. Okie doke. Let me go. So this should be a item shop and then possibly a Trish. I don't actually want to buy something. You butt. You butt. And Trish. Yep. It's a Trish spring. And she's going to overcharge us like a cunt. It's okay, though. I love her. She may be a cunt, but she's my cunt. My cunt. <laughs> Unintentional joke. I'll take it. Oh, boy. Look at this. Uh, let's go for a weapon attack. Sorry, gremlins. Your poopsies are toast. Bleh. Who love misfortune? You bastards. How devious. Do, 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 do. They've got so much freaking health. It is quite unfortunate. Uh, guns? You are weak to guns. Murder. Murder of the highest caliber. I probably shouldn't be talking about murder when I just killed an angel. But it's okay though, she's a demon. Somehow, look, look, man to man, uh, man to audience, I, I don't know how Shimagami Tensai works, but apparently, um, angels are demons, and I can't really do anything about that. So let's just move on, shall we? Bye-bye, <laughs> cockatrices. You put up a good fight, except you didn't at all. <laughs> um, this should be it. Uh, and we were just about 20 minutes, so I think I'm just gonna end this off with a with the boss fight, so I can hear voices. It sounds like someone's talking inside. I'm sorry, Mr. Kandori. The woman escaped. That was a mistake, Takata. Well, leave her be. There's nowhere for her to go. It's more important that the scientists finish the Davis system's adjustments. Yes, sir. He's definitely in there. Are you ready, Daniel? I am not, actually. We need to make sure we heal up just a little bit. Uh, but for the most part, we do have everything we need. So since this is the boss fight, I will give you the recommendations right now. Uh, you're gonna want to have something with ice or something with earth. Because that is his ultimate weakness. He has another weakness too. He has a couple of weaknesses actually. But uh, we'll get into that when we start the fight so I can go into it proper. Who's there? More children? How did you get in here? This is a disgrace, Takata. First that brat, now this. 
When did my company become a nursery? I see you haven't changed, Kandori. You're like an ass in a lion's skin. Pushing your luck, aren't you? Does President Saiki know about this? My, my, the young master of, Nanjo, of the Nanjo group. No, the old man knows nothing. But this is preposterous. Your mother would spank you if she knew you had stooped to breaking and entering. Or is that your senile butler's job? Silence! You don't think I'll easily forgive you for this. Or easily forgive this, sorry. Yo, quit grandstanding, man. You're gonna pay for what you did. This guy's Kandori? Undisciplined children are no better than dumb beasts. Takata, take them from my sight. Do it however you like. Just don't make a mess. Mr. Kandori, please stand back. Okie doke, I'm back. I just wanted to make sure you heard that tune because that tune is called Bloody Destiny and it is the boss theme and I love it to death. All right, don't let a single one of them escape. Kandori. What a surprise. I didn't expect that you'd be Persona users as well. What? Don't tell me. You too? Takata, I leave this to you. You can handle a few children, hmm? Yes, sir. You're going nowhere. Oh, no, you don't. Damn, kids. You're not taking one step out of here. Now taste the power of my persona. So here we have a boss fight. <laughs> For the most part, you're just going to want to use Ma Bufula and any other uh, Bufu skills that you have because it will take them out rather quickly that it is their weakness after all. Uh, actually, it's his weakness. Um, before we go too far into this while I'm waiting for this, uh, this guy is Takata. He is weak to one-handed swords and two-handed. Uh, I don't know where you get a two-handed from, uh, but he resists guns and is kind of weak to tech and rush, but he's mostly weak to ice and earth. He has a two times weakness to it. Uh, he nulls uh, expel and death moves, and he also has a bigger resistance to nerve, which is like charm, like status ailments like that. Uh, and he has an even bigger weakness to something that we have no access to right now, so I don't even know why he's weak to it, honestly, but hey, there you go. <laughs> For the most part, you just want to make sure you get off your ice and earth skills on him, but if you did like me and made sure you had a bunch of ma skills, you will not only hit him with his weakness, but you will also be able to hit the entirety of his party with uh, the elementals, so you're not only taking care of him, but everybody around him as well. And you should make quick work of him. I'm also not skipping the animations for this because it's a boss fight. Also, there's female Boo. And just like that, all of his minions are gone. So with one more auto, he should be donezo. Sorry, Takata. Your poopsies are toast. And we get some level ups. Because why not? Boop, 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 boop. That prick. Where'd he go? There's no sign that he used the door. There must be another way out. That's Kandori, huh? Where have I...? 
Hmm? What's up, Maki? You look all down. Huh? Oh, no, I'm okay. It's nothing. Come on, let's hurry after him. Okie doke. Well, we have one more locker to look through. We got a sword. So now, I think I'm gonna make sure I go and optimize everybody, just to make sure everybody has something good. And... Oh, a two-handed axe. Is that what it is? An axe? Two-handed? Whatever. Okay, everybody's got something good. So, we're gonna wanna talk to this. Is that a switch? Do you want to press it? Of course we do! To reveal a secret exit. How do they not notice him leaving? Bingo! Good work, Daniel. A hidden path, eh? It seems... He seems to love this cheap tricks. Daniel, let's hurry after him! Okie dokie. So, finally, if this recording goes well, we have finally beaten the first boss of the game, and we can finally move forward. Is everybody excited? Because I'm excited, and I hope this recording doesn't get fucked up, because I really don't want to do this episode again for the fourth time. So, without further ado, that's all the time we have for this one. A hero's work is never done. Join me again next time as we continue to tackle Persona 1. Later days, everybody.